Hello, my name is Olli Pöhönen and I work as an analyst here at Sifter Capital. I'd like to present one of our investments called Disco Corporation. Now, Disco is a Japanese company that manufactures and sells equipment that are critical in the manufacturing of chips, such as memory chips and processors, which are then used in our everyday devices, such as smartphones and computers. Now, those chips are mainly manufactured on round disks of silicon called wafers. And the role of Disco's equipment is to thin, polish and cut such wafers. In the field of such equipment, Disco is a giant with most market share estimates implying a well over 60% market share. Sifter originally invested in Disco in April 2019. And at Sifter, we saw that Disco possessed strong competitive advantages, a healthy long-term growth potential, and resilience to survive short-term shocks. Now, let's look at Disco's three sources of competitive advantage. First, Disco's customers face significant switching costs. For them, the uh, cost of poor quality is high because Disco's equipment are mainly used at a point where the wafer surface is already filled with precious integrated circuits. And at that stage, inaccurate cutting or grinding or polishing could spoil months of work. Now, given these risks, Disco's clients are unlikely to experiment with unproven uh, equipment vendors. Second, Disco has close customer relationships. These relationships are further strengthened by Disco's R&D services, under which Disco's engineers perform test cuts and determine the optimal combination of equipment and consumables and processing methods for the client. And the relationships are then even further strengthened by Disco's after-sales services, such as maintenance and training. Now third, Disco operates in a niche market within the broader semiconductor manufacturing equipment market. Now for large players, this modest market size limits incentives to enter Disco's territory, as the rewards would be relatively modest. Now Disco's strong competitive position is reflected in its margins and returns on invested capital, which are in a healthy territory. The results are also superior in relation to competitors. For example, Disco's main competitor, Tokyo Seimitsu, generates about a third lower margins and returns. We think that Disco's long-term outlook is also promising. This view is based on two drivers. First, historically, Disco's revenue has correlated strongly with global wafer shipment volumes. And going forward, these wafer volumes seem to have further upside, as for example, the 5G networks will better support a network of connected devices, also known as Internet of Things. And this is good news for Disco, as a larger number of smart devices should result in a larger number of wafers to grind, saw, and polish. Now, the second positive driver is related to the evolving chip manufacturing methods. Historically, chip performance has been increased by cramming a, an ever larger number of ever smaller transistors into the same chip. However, that process has become increasingly costly and should eventually slow down, restricted by the laws of physics. And well, further performance improvements could be achieved from, for example, 3D packaging, where several chips are stacked on top of each other. And that method would increase the demand for extremely thin chips, and that would push up the use of Disco's equipment now, finally, we see that Disco has enough resilience to survive short-term shocks. Those shocks could originate from at least two sources. First of all, Disco's equipment sales represent about half of the company's revenue, and they are essentially a capital expenditure for Disco's clients. And historically, capital expenditures in the semiconductor industry have been volatile. Second, Disco's Japan-centric manufacturing operations is expose the company to fluctuations in exchange rates and tariffs because Disco earns most of its revenue abroad. Fortunately, Disco's financial resilience is built on at least three factors. First, 
Disco holds no debt on its balance sheet. Instead, the company has cash worth some one and a half times its past 12-month EBITDA, which offers a helpful buffer for rainy days. Second, Disco generates one-third of its revenue from consumables and spare parts, where margins are high. And the demand for those products is driven by clients' capacity utilization rate, which is less volatile than capital expenditures. And third, Disco's strong market position supports the company's pricing power. And this, in turn, helps Disco to offset cost increases with higher prices. Then how profitable has this investment been for Sifter Fund? From April 2019 to the early days of September 2021, Disco share has appreciated 86% in euros and offered on average about 2% annual dividend yield. Now, over the same period, the Global Equity Index, uh, MSCI All Country Wealth, World Index, generated just 43% return in euros. Overall, we like Disco's competitive advantages, long term outlook, and financial resilience, and we see it as a typical sifter investment. Thank you.